Hello everybody, SSA here aka Super Sunarashi and welcome to episode 6 of our Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Arashi Log. It's been a while since the last episode but you know, health goes before YouTube sometimes and I thought I really needed a break from some stuff so I did. Um, basically I was getting a lot of tired, my eyes are beginning to get a little bit of a twitch. So, yeah, I, I, I decided to take a quick break from, you know, recording this series for a few days because I just want to be as best, as healthy as possible to record the episodes for you guys. Because then, you know, you'll get the best out of my, me instead of, you know, somebody that really looks in, uninterested at that point in recording those episodes, if that makes any sense. But I did do some grinding in between episodes because we're going to face the first gym leader of Johto, which is, of course, Falconer. So first we have a Cindy Archancy, uh, who is level 10 now, still holding that Oval Stone with Giga Drain, Tail Whip, Pound and Refresh. Then we got Nexus R Macargo, t level 12, uh, rocking out with Rock Throw, Smog, Ember and Yawn, holding that Focus Band. Then we got Lizan and the Charmander, Bashful Nature, level 12 as well, with Emigral, Scratch and Smokescreen. Then we got our starter Kiko that you guys chose, the Staravia, Bolt Nature, with Wing Attack, Growl, Quick Attack and Tackle. Then we got Stubby the Pelipper, uh, Impish Nature holding the White Lens, with Wing Attack, Supersonic, Water Gun and Growl. And last but not least, we have Victory Bell, Deep Throat the Victory Bell, uh, Bashful Nature, with Fine Whip, Sweet Scent, Razor Leaf and Sleep. Powder. So as you can see, five of our mons are level 12, which is, I think, the minimum of Falconer. I don't know if I tweak the levels of the gyms uh, in this Let's Play. We'll find out soon enough, but Cindy is level 10 because Cindy is such a pain to train. And if we are going to win against Falconer and we can switch out our team, I think Chansey is the first and the only one to actually go. We can always, you know, catch a Pokemon and then do it, but the rule says, as, as I put in the rules, after you've taken the gym leader, after you won against the gym leader, you have the option to switch three Pokemons. If you then continue to catch a Pokemon after that, it's, in my opinion, like you forfeit uh, to switch out your Pokemon by that, and you can only switch out your Pokemon by the time you win the next gym leader. So, we'll see, we'll see. Um... I don't want uh, Chansey to be up front though. Uh, I think Macargo, next is the Macargo, can try something. So we're going to face off against these two trainers here, and then we'll face off against Faulkner, and then we possibly can, you know, switch out our Pokemon. But yeah, let's see what this trainer has. Tamer Wellington has a Slugot. Okay, that should be easy enough. That should be easy enough. Uh, I think we can just rock throw it. And that should do a decent amount of level. Level 10. Ooh. Okay, so he's yawning me. Um, how much will an Ember do that? Oh, yeah. Ember did a lot more. Okay. So Nexus is gaining some levels. You're not putting this bad boy to sleep. No, siree. I love... I love my cargo. I'm not gonna lie. I love using my cargo. It's a unique Pokemon, and even though it's very weak, it can still pack a punch, you know. So let's see, Tamer Dudley. Aww, Togepi. Well, Togepi should definitely get hit hard by this Rock Throw. Almost over health. Come on, my cargo. Oh, wait. Metronome. Explosion! Wait, we should be fine! We resist that! It's a Togepi! It's stabbed though! Yeah, okay. Uh, Radada. You know what? Let's switch out right now. Let's go into... No, you know what? Let's stay in! Let's stay in! We still resist any of his moves. And at this point, he should only have tackles, so... Focus energy though. 
Oh, we missed. Uh, do we have any HP? We have six potions. Um, use Amber. There's just the tackle. We resist. Yeah, look at that. Pathetic Radada. All right. Um, is six potions enough? Four paralyzed seals. I think six potions, five potions is enough. Ah, uh, it's not worth it. We need to head back to the Pokemon Center. It's not worth it. It's not worth to use a potion here. It's absolutely not worth to use a potion right here. You can rather go back to the um, to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can actually buy like some potions. I think we have enough money. I think we have enough money to buy at least four potions. And then we'll face off against Faulkner. Who has two Pokemon. Two of two Pokemon. And I think his ace was level 14. So we're a bit under leveled. So hopefully he doesn't have anything big. Like. I don't know, a Suicune, because a Suicune at this point will kill us. Uh, where's the po- Where's the- where's the Pokemon? It's right here, Geart, come on. What do you need? Bye. Uh, yeah, we can buy four. Okay. Um, I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs. Right away. Because. In, in in case I forget in the next episode. If we need to catch Pokemon. <laughs> Basically. Because I will forget it. We've seen that in the last couple of episodes. Okay. So here we are. We're about 7 minutes into the episode right now. Here is Faulkner. So we're going to save the game. Okay. Please don't have anything, you know, decent against us. As I said before, a Suicune or a Pelipper of level 14 will, like, probably kill us. So, let's go. I'm Falkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you flip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real Pokemon power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. There we go. <laughs> oh, this music. Alright, Juggler Mike. Nidoran. Okay, Nidoran. Uh, that, that should be an easy Amber. Okay, does about half, so next Ember will kill. I think I've set it to similar strength. I'm not sure. But that could be the case. Let's see, because normally he has a Pidgeotto, so if he has a, you know, first... Yeah, a first base Pokemon. Voltorb. Ah! Level 14. That should be doable. That should be doable. There's the charge. Macargo got this. Macargo, you got this, boy. Rock throw. That was an anticlimactic. Ooh. All right, we're gonna yawn. We're gonna put it to sleep. We're gonna put it to sleep first. Ooh, I don't like that special defense. Um, rock throw again. He's only charging up because he knows he can hit me with those electric types moves. Well, he can, but they're not very effective. There you go. Full top is now at sleep. Yo, Macargo is doing this. Macargo is doing this. Okay, he woke up. Right away. Oh no. This rock throw needs to kill, otherwise he will heal up. There you 
you go. Nexus, you deserve a level up by that. I understand. Blah, 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 blah. I, 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 I skipped it accidentally. For pity's sake, my dad cherished bird Pokemon. But at the Vita's at the Vita. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. There you go. There we go. I thought it would be much more difficult than now. Uh, we can use the ro yeah, Rock Smash. Rock Smash. Rock Smash. Rock Smash. Come on. TM51. But what is it? Is it Roost? TM51. It's Fane. A Pokemon that fits. Interesting. Interesting. But. We just won against the gym leader. We got a badge. Which means. That. With the rules. We can now. Switch out a. Po oh wait. Pokemon egg. Oh, I forgot about implementing the Pokemon Egg. Um, well, a Pokemon Egg is just a static encounter. And normally a Pokemon Egg will be switched out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, to put Chansey. In the PC. So. Chansey is now. In the PC. Uh, we have time. So we can actually try to hatch the egg right now. In this episode. Uh, well, you know, no, no, no. I have a better idea what I can do. I have a better idea what I can do. So that. You guys. You know. Don't have a time. So Chansey is. Is going to be switched out. But. What I first am going to do, to make it a little bit more easier for us, we're going to get the egg. We're going to get the egg here. There you go. Blah, blah, blah. Take care of the egg. Yes. So we now receive the egg from the assistant. So, this means that the egg isn't changed for the Chansey. But, what I am going to do now... Is I'm going to hatch the egg. So once the egg is hatched, then I will make a decision for who we are going to swap out the Chansey with. My oh my, that egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Miss Pokemon to Professor M. The Professor Thor. Now I get it. Yeah, I'll, I will take care of it. I'm counting on you. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hatch the egg. So, you know, I will just run around trying to hatch the egg as fast as possible. So, yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so sounds can be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon. So, I think I've been running around for five minutes. And that's, in my opinion, decent. And mostly that is because... Nexus has the flame ab b the flame body ability, so yeah, that means that hatching with is actually going to you know be much easier than I thought it would be. So it should be hatching very soon. So as I said before, I've been running around five minutes. After f two minutes, it was like it's it's moving. And after, again, two minutes, it's like saying sounds can be coming from the inside now, so... I'm hoping the egg will hatch soon now. But... I thought I would just let you show you guys this. So that... You know, you can actually witness the moment of the birth of the... Yeah, Pokemon that is hide, hiding inside the egg. This is basically going to be Nexus, his son. Macargo son because you know he's caressing that egg with his flame body ability he's like I'm gonna take care of you my son or daughter watch it being a slugma being inside of this egg I will be 
hilarious. I will actually laugh my eyes out if that was the case. But we're still running around. It should be happening soon. I really have no idea what's inside this egg. Uh, but soon we will know. And then we can actually find out if we're going to use the Pokemon that is inside this egg. Or if we are still going to, you know, put out Kecleon from the box as a replacement of Chansey. Who is still in the PC right now. But, I don't know, Chansey is just not a Pokemon I would love to use. It, it, it can do nothing offensively. Defensively, I'd rather take another Mon. But yeah, is it still saying sounds can be coming from inside? Yeah. It should be soon. And I know I can cheat my way out of this and just use a, you know, uh, hack, hatch code. Like just put a hatch code into the emulator and then one step and it's hatching. But I'd rather do that, not do that. I'd rather, you know, play the game as it should be. Only, you know, with the randomized and a rushy lock rules and there you go. Okay, hopefully this egg will hatch soon now because it's now close to 7 minutes, 8 minutes of me just hatching this egg. <laughs> but um, I do want to do it because it's, it's, it's better that way. Because I don't want to put the egg in the box and then, you know, just you know, have the ability to just choose an egg not knowing what's inside. But we will find out what's inside because the egg is going to hatch. Alright, before we're going to hatch this egg, leave me down in the comment section below your prediction of what this egg is going to be. And we will see it in the next episode. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, are you ready? Ooh, what's it gonna be? It's an actual execute! <laughs> oh my god. It's an execute. Why? Why? That's... Nah. That was not worth it. Um, Boiled. I'm going to call you Boiled. Okay. It's an Execute. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this Execute also in a box. Because that is not going to be the replacement of Chansey. The replacement of Chansey is going to be... Kecleon. I said that in the last episode. And that is going to stay the same. So... Uh, summons PC. Move Pokemon. So... Execute is just chilling here in the box, but Kecleon will be the Pokemon that we are going to use. And I think that's it. So Starbucks, the check Kecleon is now in the squad for Chansey. Uh, yeah. Uh, cannot learn faint because that is. Tab, if I believe. Step. Faint is normal, right? Yeah. But Starbucks can't learn it. Kiko can, so let's learn it to Kiko uh, instead of Growl. I think with that, we are at the end of this episode. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to get outside here. In the next episode, we will head our way to Azalea Town. So the team that is now, how it is. So, Macargo, Charmander, Staravia, Pelipper, Victory Bell, and Kecleon. That is the team that we have to use until we have faced against a Celia Town gym leader, which is uh, Bugsy. So, we're just going to go face, <laughs> head face in the Pokemon Center here and save the game. 
There we go. So it's a bit of a shorter episode than usual, but we did what we did in this episode. We've challenged Faulkner. We got our first badge, and now we've replaced one of our squad members with one of the Pokemon in the PC, and we hatched one of our eggs. Well, one of our eggs, one of the eggs that we can get in this game. I don't know if there are more eggs besides the Togepi egg, but if you enjoyed so don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video with others, slash the subscribe button down below, and hit that bell icon, because then you get notified every time I upload a new video that is sincerely appreciated. But with, we're going to end this episode of the Arashi Lock right here. In the next episode, we will make our way. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. Bye-bye!